TD.com. Hi, I'm Pam Cook. Join us every Thursday morning at 710 as we feature nominees for Share the Good Stark County. When I got a letter from Danielle DiPietro about Canton Challenger Baseball, I just had to find out more about it. See the videos right now on WHBC.com. Canton Challenger Baseball provides a baseball league for children that have special needs as well as disabilities. Share the Good Stark County on Canton's Morning News. Live from the WHBC Broadcast Center. Find out more about area businesses, agencies, and events. It's what's going on right now. This is Spotlight on Stark County with Pam Cook and Gary Rivers. Well, good morning and welcome to our Wednesday morning edition of Spotlight on News Talk 1480 WHBC. You can see us online at Facebook.com and go check out WHBC and you'll see us here. I'm Gary Rivers and uh, sitting next to me, this rather good-looking real estate agent, <laughs> Dominic Fonte. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks <laughs> yeah. for having me on, Gary. Hey, thank you so much for being here this morning. I went to your website and there you are and uh, my gosh, you know, being in real estate right now I think has got to be pretty exciting. It's very exciting. You know, we we went through a period uh, in real estate where, man, it was volatile, and it was, uh, I I suppose, for someone who was hoping to buy a home, it was pretty tough for a while. You know, there was that time when everything was booming, and everybody could get it, and then that bust, and then the last few years, it's been a little challenging for some, but uh, is it really as booming as what I'm hearing in the news? Well, like, just to regress for a second, if you think about it, July of 07 Mm -hmm. uh, is when we actually tanked in the real estate market. The bubble burst, Mm -hmm. and, um, and then in 2008, the stock stock market tanked right. and consumer confidence and everything went just downhill quickly. So what happened in a nutshell is um, everything was overinflated at that time. That's why they called it the bubble. When that crashed, uh, there was a huge supply of real estate, mm-hmm. 11 months worth of supply. And a healthy market's really between five and six months. So uh, there was that big supply and lack of demand. Even though the rates were in the 3% range, you would think you know it's almost giveaway prices. Mm-hmm. But uh, the consumer confidence, and, and it was just a mess with the debacle on the, the economy tanking. So um, since then, uh, in the last several years, we were able to absorb that inventory. Mm-hmm. And so now the rates creeped up a little bit. So what's going on right now is we have less supply, still a pent-up demand, which is now starting to drive those real estate prices. And then it goes up. And it's not, it, it, it is that specific to Stark County area, or is that nationwide that's going on? Well, if you look at a, a United States map, you're going to see that in every state we're having uh, – Pluses. Mm-hmm. Everything's on the plus column right now. Now there's pockets. You know, usually real estate's local, so you know you read the national headlines. And, yeah. But but it's not always applying to say mm-hmm. Canton City or Jackson Township or North Canton. So you always have to look at each segment. So if you're in a specific segment and you want to know what the really mar- the market's really doing, you have to break that piece down. But in general, broad stroke across the United States, everything is moving in a positive direction right now. Unless you're trying to buy a home in San Francisco, I understand nobody can get them. Well, you know, again, I mean, that's bizarre. Like I just saw a uh, internet post for 1.1 million, and it was a foreclosure, and basically they're just selling it for land value only because of the desire. No kidding. Yeah, so it's just it's an interesting market. It's an exciting time to be in real estate. And, um, you know, so it's just interesting to watch what's happening right now. All right, first-time home buyers. I guess I should ask now, is, is now the time to really try to get, can you, can you get the loan? Maybe that's the first question to ask. Well, you know, when we went through the debacle, uh, the Frank Dodd Act uh, put a lot of restrictions on things. They went from loosey-goosey to really intense mm-hmm. uh, guidelines. So now I think it's it's tapering back a little bit. So, yes, uh, a big segment of the market is uh, first-time home buyers. And uh, it is a good time to buy. Obviously, the inventories are a little less, so you have to work a little harder. You have to be informed about all the options and the plans that are available because that's the biggest thing is education to understand um, you know, how to get into the market, what kind of credit scores, what kind of down payment. Things like that, I think, well, there's the perception reality of that. We're not taught that in school. No, we're not. I mean, they're almost – it's like – Figuring out your checkbook, not taught in school. <laughs> and uh, beyond that, it is buying a home. I'll never forget the terror I felt when I went to buy my first home how many years ago. And I walked in there, and I was I feeling at the mercy 
of a real estate agent, no offense, but not knowing, are they good? Are they bad? What do I do? And am I signing on the dotted line my life, my firstborn male child? What am I doing here? <laughs> How come we don't know that? Well, uh, part of it is, it's, it's, some of it falls on the agents, too. It's you know, obviously, uh, experience helps. And uh, over the last, uh, this is my 30th year now in the business, and um, I learned a lot of things since I've helped over 1,700 families. And oh one of the God. big things is that besides the financial uh, aspect, it's one of the largest investments that most people make in their life. It's also very emotional. So we always have needs why we want to buy or sell real estate. And part of it is, you know, sometimes we're uh, expanding our family, sometimes we're not. But the, the, the navigation part of it is the agent that you hire to help you that agent's like a GPS when you're lost in the dark. Right. And, and their goal is, and, and you want to work with someone that has that expertise that can basically take all this internet and all this data that you're parsing through your brain mm -hmm. and help navigate you through that uh, laborious process, to be so honest with you. It's important to get the right real estate you, agent. You really do. It makes all the difference. All right. So you find that. And, and then what questions do we have to ask? Because I, I think a lot of kids, young folks, well, you know, we were talking right before we get on the air, millennials, brand new, getting into the oh, market. Absolutely. Uh, I know they do a lot of research on Internet. And so maybe they're getting a lot of questions answered. Do you have all that information on your website that we well, can kind of parse through? Well, here's what I have. At the end of the at the end of the show, we're going to basically, I'm going to offer two things. Uh, one, I have a, a millennial guide. It's, um, you can see it here. I don't know if it's the internet. So I have a 20 page plus book. Uh -huh. And what it's called is the Millennials Guide to Homeownership. And what it does is it goes through all the data and information, the myths, uh, the stereotyping, and really what's happening with the marketplace. And so, oh. so, so what we have with millennials right now, this is what's shocking. It was always baby boomers, baby boomers, right? right? Well, the whole, well, well, it was all about me. Right, right, <laughs> right. So now we're getting pushed aside because we made up 74.1 million, the baby boomers. Mm -hmm. Now the millennials are, um, just to give you an idea, what is a, a millennial if people ask? Well, the U.S. Census Bureau said um, between 1982 and 2000 are the, the uh, millennials, which actually are 83.1 million, which make up a third of the population in the United States. So that's uh, outpaced the baby boomers. So let me tell you that these millennials, <clears throat> they're a force to be reckoned with. Yes. So, so they are make up 50% of the home buying market right now. And in the next few years, you're going to see a much larger increase It'll continue to because voice. the average age of these millennials are buying at age 32. And there's a bunch of them that are still under uh, 32. So, so I that think continue to it grow. will. But they're also the more noted for switching their jobs at a moment's notice and going, well, I don't like this. I don't like that. How does that work for them getting credit well well the two big issues right now is and, and again some of this is stereotyping because uh mm -hmm. you know people uh you know think they they fail to launch and that's not true with all millennials right. that's there's always like in every segment you're going to have people that you know uh that fail to launch you know in all generations but here's the two big issues right now the two big issues are uh, the perception is is that they might have to have a larger down payment, maybe 20% down, mm -hmm. when in fact the majority of the purchasers, 50% or under 10% down, and there's special programs. And the other issue that's holding them back is uh, that you know a lot of times we think it's the student loan, uh, you know, because they come out of out of college with a $25,000, yeah. $30,000 worth of debt, but it's really not that. It's the credit score. They don't have uh, the established credit in order to get a loan, and they don't have the the guide guidance on how to um, find the program. There's special assistant programs out there that you can actually buy a home today with 3% down or less based on the assistance that you can get through the navigation of your agent. And hopefully, of course, talking to Dominic Fonte, by the way, and Associates right here, you can go to their website and check it out, DominicFonte.com. And, uh, and find a little bit more out about you. But that's the key. It's knowing you and asking those questions or maybe you asking the questions of them. Right. Because if, <clears throat> if they're interested and they seem to have decent enough, oh, my, I got a good job and I've got that, then you can probably walk them through that process. Yeah, there's a, there's a very important process, and I have a whole package put together uh, for myself and my agents that we help navigate them through the process. So what I wanted to say is if anybody's interested in understanding, it's like anything, uh, the more information you have, you make a better informed decision. Right. Can you grab that booklet real quick, J.D.? Can we uh, focus on that on our Facebook right there? I know, J.D. is the man. There we go. Is that on? 
that you... perfect right there? This is that beautiful thing. Yeah, okay. See, JD is like the master of the camera. So basically that booklet at the end, I'll offer it up. If anybody's interested, I'll give you the contact information. I can email it, fax it, or however you'd like to receive it. Um, I also have a wonderful tool for sellers, which we'll talk about when we get to that point. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. So that, that to me was, was one of the most important things to talk about is really getting that knowledge and knowing that you have the right realtor to talk with to answer all of those questions. You know, once I think most people get past that initial fear, then it becomes a little easier to walk through the process. Then it's finding the kind of home for you, right? right. Well, like for me, there's three things that affect real estate. It's the location, the condition, and the price. So <clears throat> what I always tell my clients is try to pick the best location for your budget. And then once you identify a house that looks exciting to you and you're starting to feel something inside, yeah. that's the emotions. But what happens with real estate, it's like anything. You make the, the decision to buy it. And then about 2 in the morning, you have anxiety. You're like, oh, my God, I hope I didn't make a mistake. So always what we try to do is we, when we identify a house with the right location and the right formula for your family or yourself, what we do is we do the pluses and minuses with you because we want you to know that if you have a moment of insecurity or second-guessing your decision, it's not like we're going to Vegas and we're going to gamble all this money. Right. We're making a calculated risk, and we're doing it based on logic, not just, you know, I feel good about it. Your location, wherever it might be. Right. Okay, i got to ask you. Corner houses, are they worth more or should we not be there? Or does it depend on the, on the, on the street? <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, my wife and I, when we talk about these things, it's like, well, I don't want to be on that street right there by that corner. I mean, I, I don't, I don't I'm, I'm, really? Why? <laughs> well, you know, there's a, uh, there's two schools of thought. One is I don't really want any neighbors, so I like the corner oh, so I can okay. be away from neighbors. But if you don't mind neighboring, so stick yourself in between mm -hmm. two houses. But the point is with the corner, you know, a lot of people like corners. Uh, you know, sometimes if you have to have a sidewalk replaced, it's not so pleasant because yeah. you have more cost. Sometimes your utility costs more per linear foot. So, I mean, there's, it's just, you have to do the pluses and minuses. What's important to you and your family? or your decision maker, and if it's having some privacy and maybe not having a neighbor, if you can't afford an acre out in the country and you're living in the city, well, you find a corner lot, you have your privacy as best you can, and you still have affordability in a location that you and your family like. I'm going to ask him the real tough question now. I want a built-in pool. We're like, I don't know. Is that going to lower the value or raise the value? And is that in one of those iffy things, too? Well, you know, here's the thing. It comes down to what you really want as a customer. So, you know, in a resale point, yeah, you know, it's not going to – if it costs thirty five to 40000 for in this gorgeous in-ground pool with mm -hmm. landscaping and patios and all that, you know, it's really – the way I look at it is you can't do it dollar for dollar return on investment like a kitchen or a bathroom. Right. But – would your wife be happy if you had it in-ground pool? Exactly. And you know what? At the end of the day, that's really the key. Okay. So if your family or your loved ones are happy with that, that's what you go for. But don't do it for a return on investment because uh, you'll lose. So, you gotta, so it's you, a wash. It's the way you think about it. You have, And that's where the pluses and yeah. minuses. Before you make that decision to put that pool in, what are the pluses to it? What are the minuses? Well, we know what the minuses are. We're not going to get 40000 or 30000 out of that uh, in our resale. We'll just have something. But you've got living for 5, 10, 20 years right. of having a great pool. That's right. So you just basically say, honey, happy Valentine's Day. We're putting a pool in tomorrow. <laughs> right. Awesome. All right. We're talking with Dominic Fonte from Dominic Fonte & Associates. If you want more uh, information, go to his website, DominicFonte.com, and we'll spell that for you when we come back. But we're going to ask about mortgage interest rates when we come back, more a little bit on the uh, housing market and uh, how to sell your home in today's market when we come back. Hi, this is Brad White from Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. And I'm your pharmacist, Paul White, for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Tune into the Health Matters program this week, and Dr. Drusilla Grant from Grant Vision Care joins us to talk about optometric vision therapy. Tune in this Friday at 9 a.m. for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy right here on News Talk 1480 WHBC or listen to the podcast on whbc.com. Why? Because your health matters. 
We all know there's lots of choices for senior living in Stark County. Most offer similar amenities like game night and bus trips. Canton Christian Home has all that and so much more. But the one thing that really sets them apart is their food. Canton Christian Home offers delicious homemade food served when you want it. Have breakfast when you first wake up or later if you're a sleepyhead. Omelets or pancakes at noon? No problem. Eat in the cafe, dining room, or cook your own. Canton Christian Home is apartment living that's active and engaging. Call or go online to reserve your apartment today. Pros in the know start with Lowe's because Lowe's has exclusive offers this week just for pro customers. For three days only, get 5% off all purchases made in store and online at Lowe'sforpros.com. Or if you use your Lowe's business credit account, save 10%. That's 5% off all purchases and an extra 5% if you use your Lowe's business credit account. See the Pro Desk or Lowe'sforpros.com for more details. Offers valid 213 through 215, subject to credit approval and can't be combined with other credit offers. Exclusions apply U.S. only. Coming up today at 3 on the Kenny and JT Show. We'll recap the Cavaliers at OKC. We'll have last-minute gift ideas for Valentine's Day. Boy, I hope I get that rotisserie chicken. Chicken. <laughs> and we'll talk NFL draft with Dan Shanka, our draft guru. It all happens today at 3 on the Kenny and JT Show on News Talk 1480 WHBC. It's the little things, like a free day off. Announcement, everyone. The office will be closed on Monday. Or finding out Peebles is having a huge President's Day sale. Starting Thursday, get 40% off almost everything in-store and online. Check out today's deals to get your coupon. Plus, all month, get super blowout doorbusters, like 50% off already reduced prices on select shoes and more. Fresh styles, big savings, and fun perks every day. Peebles. Little things mean everything. Peebles is part of our stage family. Offer exclusions apply. My number two does not look like a number two. I don't know what to call it. Is there a number three? Table for four, please. Anything close to the restroom. Oh, a middle seat with these stomach problems? That's my fear of flying. Sound like you? If it does, you could be one of the many people with a digestive condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. Even if you don't know what EPI is, you might know the symptoms. Frequent diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain. If you have even just one of these symptoms, you could still have EPI because not everybody experiences EPI the same way, which is why it's so important to open up to your doctor about all your symptoms. And the good news is EPI is manageable, so don't keep a lid on it. Go to IdentifyEPI.com, complete the symptom checker, and use it to have a conversation with your doctor. Don't keep a lid on it. Visit IdentifyEPI.com. Brought to you by Spear Spearfishing has or will strike your business, wreaking havoc on your employees, brand, and your bottom line. Spearfishing can't be stopped by traditional email security solutions because messages appear to be legitimate from your boss, a trusted colleague, or a vendor asking you to wire money, confirm login credentials, or worse. Barracuda Sentinel is artificial intelligence for real-time spear phishing and cyber fraud defense. Reclaim your email in minutes with zero impact on network performance. Visit barracuda.com slash AI. Now back to Spotlight with Pam and Gary. Spotlight is back for another segment. I'm talking with Dominic Fonte, and uh, we are talking real estate. And, you know, this is a, a really good time to talk about real estate. It's been nice. You know, interesting, you had mentioned this uh, off the air, Dominic, that, uh, you know, the stock market is on this wild roller coaster right now. But I asked, I go, real estate isn't really like that. I mean, you had the bubble burst years ago, but it still is always relatively normal, right? I mean, it, it, just... it is. I mean, sometimes you, know, you have different uh, valuations of appreciation, but uh, it's not like going to Vegas. The stock market is scary because it's emotionally driven many times, just like the hiccup we just had. I mean, we've had the biggest growth in a while. Real estate is stable. It's steady. Uh, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. Mm -hmm. It's a forced savings plan. It's a place to protect your family, a place to customize for you. You're not you know, throwing money away on rent. Um, it is a stable – if you look at the last 20 or 30 years, it's been a stable incline mm -hmm. over the course of the long haul. So it's always a good, good investment, and it's nothing like a car that loses value immediately. The stark market over time gains uh, value. 
but it's hard on your nerves when you see it jump up and down if you right. watch it every day. Yeah, that, that, it's an amazing thing to watch, but I, I like what you're talking about. it. And also you had said that you you have a checklist for folks who are looking at I, I do. Um, Explain that. That's different. That's something that you've come right, up with over the years. Right. So over the course of all the years, I found that, you know, besides the financial uh, compartment here of dealing with real estate being one of the biggest decisions most people make financially, there's also the emotional component. And what I mean by that is, is like when you make a decision to buy something big mm -hmm. and a house is huge, uh, you sometimes have what's called buyer's remorse. And it's a human reaction that happens. So, so as a result of going through these processes, I put um, a, a very awesome system together to help guide you through the ups and downs that you'll go through financially and emotional in a decision-making process of one of the largest decisions you'll ever make. And what we find by doing this, this stabilizes, because usually, let's say if there's a family, uh, a husband and wife buying a, a piece of real estate, mm -hmm. one's very analytical and one isn't. Well, it's very possible that at 2 in the morning, and I always joke about 2 in the morning. It's just whenever it happens. Right. Sometimes it doesn't. But I can assure you, when you wake up and you have anxiety about, oh, my goodness, what did we just do? Mm -hmm. Did we make a mistake? What if we find something we like better? Human nature is you run through this, this channel of feelings, mm -hmm. and your mind goes blank, and then you panic. And then you're like, oh, my goodness, I want to get out of this. How can I get out of this? And really, all it was was your emotions got the better part of you. So how I overcame that is we have a checklist now. So before you make your decision to offer, if you do or if you're blessed enough to get the property, when you have that moment of anxiety, you do these pluses and minuses, you put it by your bedside, and if it happens, you pull that sheet out, take a deep breath, look uh. at your sheet, and you know logically – you're making a very smart decision. That's why we're here today. And it calms you down. And it helps keep you in place. And then we guide you through the rest of the process. And and a lot of that process is knowing what they can afford. Right. And and then knowing what they're actually looking for. And, and neighborhoods as well, right? Well, well it's, it's the same thing. It's perception and reality. Mm -hmm. so, so I might say I have $100,000 to spend. And I would like three acres, a brick home, three-car garage. So that's what I want. And I'll pay cash for it, let's say, 100 mm -hmm. k well, guess what? My perception is I would like that, but in reality, that's not even feasible. Mm -hmm. So part of the educational process is when you get connected up, you know, there's the Internet. So people are on Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, right. and all the other sites gathering their own information. Well, they're also looking at properties. Oh, I like that. I like this. I like this right. about that. Right. So that's the difference now compared to how it was years ago. So people are setting up their own searches, and they have their own ideas, plus HGTV and all these other programs kind of put this picture in your head of what you really want. Now you go out to start looking, and guess what? The, the perception of what I want, the sizzle that I want, mm -hmm. is not the reality. So can I make that sizzle with my house that needs sizzle? So if you can do that, you build equity into the home. A lot of people will just want to walk in, turnkey house, and love it. But the problem is, is that there's not a ton of them, and, and the prices are more than they really want to spend. Okay. So that's the reality of it. All right. Well, we've got to take a break. We'll be right back on the other side of news and more with Dominic Fonte on our Spotlight on News Talk 1480 WHBC. <laughs> WHBC.com. I enjoy getting online just because it's fast. I can um, access it from my phone or I can access it from my iPad or my computer. Audio with our stream and podcasts anytime you desire. I get all my news and information online. It's just easier and I can read it on the go, on my phone, walking to classes, walking to work, anywhere. For everything WHBC, news, weather and sports, personality blogs and more, log on to WHBC.com. It'll begin your obsession. We're excited to announce the Diebold Federal Credit Union is now DN Community Federal Credit Union. We're still the same credit union with the same great products and services and the same friendly staff. We just have a new name, DN Community Federal Credit Union. With a merger of Diebold Corporation and Wincor Nixdorf, resulting in a new company name of Diebold Nixdorf, our new name reflects that change as well. DN Community Federal Credit Union, serving anyone who lives, works, attends church or school in Stark County. Visit us online at dncfcu.com. This is Glenn Dumoulin with the Packley and Arnold Lynch Funeral Home, and we invite you to tour our beautiful facility in person and now online. 
Take a virtual tour of the Packley and Arnold Lynch Funeral Home from the comfort of your own home. The virtual tour brings 3D panoramic experience of street view inside the funeral home where visitors can see the entire facility inside and out. View the decor and building as if you were there to see our private and public viewing rooms, cremation observation deck, and much more. The virtual tour is part of the online services which are available at ArnoldLynch.com. Our interactive, consumer-friendly options at ArnoldLynch.com make it simple to purchase flowers, find information dealing with grief and aftercare, locate obituaries, prearrange funerals or cremation with price details, learn about veterans' benefits and Social Security benefits, and now take a virtual tour of the Packley and Arnold Lynch Funeral Home. As always, you're invited to visit us at 1100 Wales Road Northeast in Maslin or tour online at arnoldlynch.com. Verndale's Water Center is offering 0% financing on water treatment systems. Call or stop in today. Hi, this is Gary Rivers. Hey, on the Wednesday Gary Rivers Show, 4th Ward Council Member Chris Smith will be in the studio talking taxes. Yep, the city of Canton hoping residents will pass a zero. Take off on the Camp Choff Raceway. Yep, we're talking indoor racetrack. Canton Kid Fest, Saturday, February 17th at the Canton Civic Center. Details at cantonkidfest.com. This is WHBC AM Canton. News Talk 1480 WHBC. I'm Jim Michaels with 1480 WHBC News. Now 38 degrees. Perry Township Trustees. Voting to file a civil lawsuit against the locally based company that bills insurance companies for emergency medical service runs. The repository reports the township's been shorted almost $700,000 over the last few years. CNC Medical Billing performed that service since 2012. Township's contract with the company ended in December. An administrative dispute between the majority of City Council and Mayor Alan Andriani in alliance in a letter to Council. Mayor says he will veto the 4-3 to three vote last uh, the other night, splitting the safety service director's position into two separate jobs. Andriani says the cost of that decision has not been fully vetted. He also suggests this is an administrative, not legislative decision. With the Affinity Medical Center ER now closed, there are a lot more patients going to the two Canton hospitals, local fire departments and ambulance companies, hoping it's a smooth transition for Altman and Mercy picking up the 30,000 patients that Affinity used to serve annually. I'm really concerned about getting ambulance patients off the cots and into the ER beds. Maslin Fire Chief Tom Bergasser says any delay only adds to the time required to get back to the city for the next emergency. His department has hired three more people. Another wrinkle in the immigration debate, another ruling not favorable to the Trump administration. A U.S. district judge in New York's ruled Attorney General Jeff Sessions was wrong when he concluded DACA is unconstitutional. That judge granting a preliminary injunction requested by state attorneys general. Last month, a U.S. district judge in San Francisco ruled DACA's got to stay in place while it's being litigated. It's Fox's Jill Nato. And today is Ash Wednesday. That is Valentine's Day. And it's Ohio Loves Transit Day as well. Sarta celebrating today. They're offering free rides on their fixed route lines today, even for the bus to Cleveland. And those who ordered pro-line service to get a Valentine treat. Canton Mayor as well as the Maslin Mayors will also be riding at various times throughout the day. So we have a whole group of people that are going to come out and show us a little love. Sarta's Christy Petty Cox there. More 1480 WHBC News at 10. Here's your ActiveWeather.com forecast. It is going to be mild today with clouds and a couple of showers developing by the afternoon. A high 46. Areas of fog with some light rain and drizzle tonight. Temperatures will actually slowly rise to the lower 50s. And we'll have fog tomorrow along with some light rain and drizzle. A high up to 58. Friday, however, starts with a couple snow showers in the morning. Then it'll be breezy and cooler as temperatures fall into the upper 20s. I'm meteorologist Maggie Johnson for News Talk 1480 WHBC. Got a news tip? Local news matters to me. I like to hear what's going on locally. Email us at newstip at whbc.com. Our news team covers Stark County like no other. I like local news. This is WHBC. Live.
live from the WHBC Broadcast Center. Find out more about area businesses, agencies, and events. It's what's going on right now. This is Spotlight on Stark County with Pam Cook and Gary River. All right, Spotlight returns for the second half. I'm Gary Rivers. Good morning. Dominic Fonte in the studios this morning on our Spotlight. We are live on Facebook if you want to follow along. I think you'll you'll learn a lot here this morning. Dominic, thank you so much for being here this morning. It's very educational. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, I hope your, your audience learn something and gain something from today. Well, I, I, you know, our audience <laughs> is a very smart audience, by the way, and they love hearing this kind of stuff. And I, I try to steer it, hopefully, into, you know, what their needs are and what they're looking for. And we were talking off air about, well, you know, when you, when you go to buy a home or you want to move up from a home, uh, you have an interesting website that you just created. Um, people ask you this. Why don't you tell that story and then explain why you got to the name? Okay, very good. So, um, you know, everybody's interested in what their home values are, what's happening. If you're a home, uh, home seller or a home owner, I guess, um, even if you never plan to sell, it's always interesting to know because it's a forced savings plan. It's your asset. Mm -hmm. And most people that have houses over time you know, eventually they get paid down and they have this asset. So if they ever decide to sell, guess what? They always want to know, Dom, what's my house worth? And I'm like, okay. So, so it dawned on me a while back. I uh, locked down uh, what's called a URL. So here's what it is in a nutshell. So if you go to Dom, so you just spell it out, D-O-M, what's my house worth dot com. So Dom, what's my house worth dot com. It'll take you to a landing page. And what it is, you can put in your address, uh, city, state, and it'll populate with about a 25-page report of everything around your home that has gone on the market or it's pending, which means it's under contract or it's actually sold, to give you a thumbnail sketch with photos and all the details and explanations of what it means for a CMA. A CMA is just a competitive market analysis talking about basic information, and it's really interesting, and it comes to you like within moments, and it's really neat. So it's to keep you informed about what the market's doing around you. Even if you have no interest in selling, it's a pretty cool tool, and it's cloud-based, so it doesn't, like, clog up your computer. So what happens is when you do this, and go ahead and try it, and, again, it's just no spaces. Just type it straight in, and it's uh, Dom, what's my house worth? Dot com. Now, when you type that in, it's pretty cool. You'll see for yourself, and it'll send me a copy, so I'll see what your request is. And this is going to give you a ballpark of the value. Now, let's say, for example, you're saying, okay, this is good, but I really want to know more accurately. You're an engineer. You want to know more accurately. And if it's not satisfactory for what you're getting, then you would just call your agent or call me, and I'll come out, take a look at the quality of the house, the improvements, the uniqueness of it, and then we can pinpoint the price a little more accurately. But this is a very good tool. And like I said, it doesn't clog up your computer. It sends it right to you. You click on the link, and you get to see all the information in color. This is amazing. I just kind of typed in my address, and it took me to the page, and then you put in the name, your email, and, and sends it out to you. I think it's fascinating. It, it, it's, it's awesome. And like I said, it just hit me like a ton of bricks when someone says, Dom, what's my house worth? And I hear this a lot, and I'm thinking, well, okay, that'll be an easy way to remember. So this kind of gives you this this uh, really overall picture. And I think, isn't that what people want? We, there's so much information out there, but but like you said, it's how do you parse it? It is. And, and really, that's the trick to it. And, and the big issue that I run into is a lot of people go to Zillow and Trulia mm -hmm. and Realtor.com. But to be honest with you, 40% of the time... Uh, Zillow and Trulia are inaccurate because they're what's called a third-party aggregate. So they aggregate information from real estate companies, public record, and other data. And they're not held to a high standard like us. They just put it out there right. and leave it up to you to find. So a lot of times I'll get calls from people that say, I just was on Zillow and I saw a foreclosure. I'd like to see it. Well, well, it's not a foreclosure. It's just a notice someone was uh, behind on their payment. So, of course, it may not be available for two to three years. Oh, my. And, and, and a lot of times they'll say, well, um, I want to see this house. But then they call their agent, and their agent says, well, that house isn't available. Well, I saw it on Zillow. Mm -hmm. And so it's pretty aggravating. So if you really want to know what's happening in the marketplace, you really got to connect up with an agent who's tied into what's called the MLS, Multiple Listing Service, because that's the baseline where everything starts from. And since we have a less inventory at this time, you want to be educated, pre-approved, and ready to roll so that when that opportunity comes along, you'll be the first one to it, because that's what the issue is now, is being first to the act 
the, the property that you're interested in so you have an opportunity to secure it before you have two or three other people wanting to buy it. Right, and, and that's what seemingly happens sometimes. That's why I notice some of these houses go like that. They do. I mean, they're, they're on the market. You see it one day, and then you go to set up an appointment, and it's already under contract. Right, so, so you can't lollygag around. When you're in the market, you want to get educated, you want to get pre-approved, and you want to understand the process because when you make a big decision like this, normally you want to think about it, sleep on it, you know, massage it, kick it around, look at it, but it doesn't work that way. You have to move quicker, but it's hard to do that when it's a big, big, big decision unless you have that knowledge, that information, so that you feel very comfortable that you're making a smart decision because you're now super informed. All right, and there is, uh, there's two sides to this coin too, right? There's also selling your home. Absolutely. And is that something that you would do as well for them? Yeah, that's usually what I specialize in is helping people sell. I have two buyer's agents that work for me, and they work mostly with my buyer's. Because uh, it's hard to do everything right. in, in tip-top shape. So I have a little team to help me, and they uh, give the customers uh, excellent service. It exceeds their expectations. So, yeah, it's important when you sell a home. And part of the trick is is if you're in a home you're selling and you want to buy a home, uh, you know, you may not have the wherewithal to buy before you sell. So the magic as the agent is is how do you sell my home? Secure me a home so I'm not homeless. Right. So it's a, it's an art, and it's very tricky. I've often wondered how that works because you're like, well, all right, I've got this home, and I have to move. And you could be stuck sitting on your home for months after you've already moved into your new one. You've got two mortgages. Right. So that doesn't happen as much now. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are ways to do it. They call it an equity advance. There used to be bridge loans in the old days, but they don't do that anymore. Um, but a lot of times, after the debacle happened, uh, a lot of the people are not comfortable taking that kind of risk. Mm-hmm. So so that's why it's critical to get someone, an agent to represent you that understands the procedures and processes. Because besides the emotional and the financial, you do need a navigator. You need a GPS. You need someone to map this out for you and hold your hand through the process because it is stressful. And how long is this process? I mean, let's say I'm a millennial because we, we, we talked about that and we'll talk about uh, you know your, your help for millennials in a few. But let's say it's your first time home buying. Uh, the process from giving you a phone call to s- looking at a home or making a, a, a an offer, how long does that take? Well, and I know it varies, I'm sure. Well, it does. And so here's the thing. It, it has to do with you as a, a client because everybody has a different you know, idea. Some people want to save a little more money. Some people are just getting their feet wet, dipping their toe into the water. Um, so that's why it's important to meet with me or one of my team members because we'll lay it out. I have a 15-step uh, process mm-hmm. that I give you. It's, it's like a flow chart of the whole procedure and what order to do the procedure in. So basically from start to finish, it's, it's averaging around 43 days. Okay. Uh, once you identify a home and you made an offer, it got accepted. It's about a 40 to 43 day process. Now, the issue is, is from the time you go to get pre-approved, there may be some things you need to do. You have to build up the credit a little bit. You might have to save a little more money or maybe uh, correct a couple items on your credit. So, so that's the educational portion so that we can set the stage properly so that we can go through those 15 steps got so that it. you have a more of a pleasant, you know, because I want to exceed your expectations is number one. Mm-hmm. So I want to make sure we get all this out of the way up front. And so at that point, you'll be so informed about it that you'll feel at ease with the process. And that's really my goal. Okay, boy, that's a, that's a tangled web that you have to go through, which is why you want right. to be able to trust your Absolutely. realtor to go through that. My gosh. All right, well, look, it's, uh, why don't we take our next break, our final break. We'll come right back. We've got a few more questions on this process. Dominic Fonte is our guest on Spotlight on News Talk 1480 WHBC. <laughs> biggest rock and roll band of the 70s. They changed the face of music forever, and their music is timeless. Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Join us 
Thursday, April the 5th, at Umstadt Performing Arts Hall, as the music of Led Zeppelin is performed by the Canton Symphony Orchestra, along with audience favorites, jeans, and classics. Tickets are on sale now, starting at $20, by calling 330-452-2094, or by logging on to cantonsymphony.org. And start the night off right with a whole lot of love pre-party, with food, adult beverages, and a DJ, the music of Led Zeppelin. Don't miss it. Get your tickets today. There is strength in numbers. Hi, this is Bob from Bob and Pete's Floors, and our store is one of 400 stores across the country that is part of the Carpets Plus Color Tile Flooring Group. With all of our stores partnering to buy flooring, we're able to offer our customers the lowest prices on your favorite flooring. And right now, only at Bob and Pete's, get 12 months financing. If you've been waiting for the perfect time, it's now. Only at Bob and Pete's Floors on West Tuscan Perry. You gotta go to Bob and Pete's for happy Get professional results you can be proud of and cover more ground in less time. Kubota's Z700 series combines strength and stability with powerful transmissions, terrain-hugging wide stance rear tires, and a low center of gravity. The professional-grade industrial strength Z700 series will help you get the job done right every time. Now get zero down and 0% financing for up to 48 months. Now through March 31st, 2018. See us or go to KubotaUSA.com for more information. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Hi, this is Brad White, your Medicine Center Pharmacist. Are you paying big bucks for a little blue Viagra pill? There's a better alternative. Starting at only $4 per dose with a prescription from your doctor, the Medicine Center Pharmacy can prepare a Sildenafil or Tedenafil tablet that melts in your mouth for an affordable price. This allows you to take care of business and still have money left over for dinner and a movie. The Medicine Center Pharmacy has four locations in Stark and Tuscarawas counties. We're here to keep you healthy and save you money. Give us a call at 330-339-4466 for more information. It's a new year, and JM Carpentry is doing free quotes on residential and commercial custom decks, barns, garages, and all the projects you've been putting off till now. JM Carpentry offers generations of Amish craftwork, the best there is, with modern professional site management. With over 30 years providing the quality you want for your projects, JM Carpentry, A plus rated with the BBB at 330 231 0125, 330 231 0125, or online at jmcarpentryltd.com. Are you caring for a relative at home and finding the impact and stress negatively affecting your life? Maybe that person's alone while you work and their safety or well-being is compromised? There are answers that can benefit everyone involved in these situations. Hi, this is Tom Swallen from Windsor Medical Center in North Canton. Our new adult day care center may be just what the doctor ordered. With flexibility of hours, days, and programming, we are able to remove the burdens of care and establish socialization, activity, dietary, medication, or other routines that benefit the center member and the caregiver. After all, health and wellness is all a part of the proper routine. As a member of the center, you will be able to take advantage of any of the services normally provided by our nursing and assisted living facilities. Therapies, beauty barber services, hygiene, ambulation assistance, and much more are available. Families are free to enjoy a less stressful relationship with our support. So stop at Windsor Medical Center and see what you're missing. Or call 330-499-8300 to arrange a tour and discuss how we might benefit your living situation. Windsor Medical Center. Message and data rates may apply. Warranty good as long as you own your mattress. Details at Nectarsleep.com. Your mattress is old. Your mattress is lumpy. It's making you tired, ugly, and grumpy. But there's a new kind of mattress, the most comfy of all, and it comes with a price that's remarkably small. We call it Nectar, for it's packed with sweet sleep. So give it a whirl, and you'll be counting up sheep. Too good to be true? We're not yet done. It's guaranteed for a year with a full refund. And what if it breaks? Well, we hope that's never. But just in case, our warranty's forever. For a promise is a promise to do what you said. And we said our mission is to make the world's greatest bed. For $125 off your Nectar mattress, plus two free Nectar pillows, text BED to 234234. Or go to Nectarsleep.com. Text BED to 234234. B-E-D to 234234. Nectar. Sleep happily ever after. Rankle and Reese Motor Cars opened its doors in 1998. For over 20 years, Rankle and Reese has provided quality hand-picked vehicles with the best financing around. Credit worries? No problem. With the best financing options available, you can get a nicer, newer car with payments you can handle. Your next car, truck, or van or SUV is waiting along with the friendly staff. So stop on out at Rankle and Reese Motor Cars, 4805 Tuscarora Street West in Canton, or online at RankleandReeseMotorCars.com.
All right, hard to believe we're on the final segment of our Wednesday morning spotlight with Dominic Fonte this morning at News Talk 1480 WHBC. Good morning. And if you would like to go to his website, it's DominicFonte.com. But he's got another one. If you want to know what your home is worth, it's Dom. What's it? Here's what it is. It's type it all together. No spaces, no periods. It's Dom. What's my house worth dot com. Dom. What's my house worth dot com. And plug in your address and information and you'll find within a few minutes you're going to be getting a link to click on and it'll show you in full color photos of insides of houses around your house, gives you a good idea baseline. And if you need a more accurate picture, you can call me anytime. But can we use this also if we're searching in a neighborhood? You and could. kind of choose a, 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 a sample house, if you will? I guess you could. So technically, um, there's two ways to do it. This is an easy way. If you just want to do it in an anonymous way, you could go ahead and find a neighborhood you like, plug in an address, a random address, mm -hmm. and it'll pull data from the multiple listing service in a radius around that of what's coming on the market, what goes under contract, what has sold. So at least as a potential buyer of a neighborhood you like, it'll give you that information you like. And then if you need more detail, you always contact your agent. That's a good starting point because I know like my kids go to Jackson. We kind of want to keep them there. Right. And so you're like, oh, well, well let's choose a neighborhood that Correct. might be where they might want to be. And what's nice about this is it usually will pull school districts too. So like if you had a specific school district, which obviously schools are important to family. Oh, yeah. So if school's important, you know, you can always set, you could set your own search up too. I have another tool you can use, which is Market Watch. And if anybody's interested, feel free to email, text, or contact me, and I'll be more than happy to uh, get you some information. You can set your own search up, or we could do it for you. But it's a great way to just keep informed about as the market shifts. And then when you're ready to do something, you'll be an informed decision maker. All right. One other thing we had mentioned off here and didn't really get a chance to really talk too much about. Mortgage interest rates are, are pretty low, but they're starting to raise up. And it is true. A lot of us think we have to put so much down, so we're going to continue saving over time, but that may actually not be the best course. That's correct. So over the last several years after the boom and the bust, um, you know, the rent rates went through the roof. And so now, even though the rates are creeping up and will probably continue to creep up as the economy improves, it's still more economical to own real estate than to rent. Uh, so you have to just see if it's right for you by going through the checklist of the pluses and minuses. But currently, if you look at the last three years, the rates were hovering in 3% range, which if you're an older person like me, uh, you remember the 22% rates. I remember those ridiculous rates. Right. Yeah. I, I remember I bought my first home, and the rates dropped to 16%, and I thought that was a pretty fair mm. price back in the day. Wow. But that was an 81. But let, like, let's say you know, if you can get a house uh, mortgage for under 6%, that's still very good. Well, the rates right now are just in the low fours. And um, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, which is the quasi-enterprise where most home loans are sold to, uh, they're projecting that the first quarter, which we're in now, uh, will be 4.1% interest rate, which it's right on track. Uh, they're estimating uh, the second quarter, 4.4, mm. third quarter of 18, 4.6, and the fourth quarter of 18, 4.9. Now, again, this is speculation. So currently we're at 4%, and I can tell you at 4%, that's under 5 bucks per thousand. So for every thousand dollars you borrow, it's five dollars on your payment. So if you save an extra thousand to put down on your house mortgage, yeah. it'll knock five bucks off your payment. So what you want to do is you do the side-by-side -side comparison. You talk to your local lender that's savvy. They'll give you the side-by-side -side comparison. Is it better to save more money and wait or get into the game now? I would say it's important to get into the game now because the house has been appreciating between 3 and 6%. And so as those values are going up, you're building equity. Equity is something that you're not – it's not like income per se. You're not getting charged taxes for that. It's building your net worth. And so I think the sooner you get into it, the better. And like they say, they project uh, over the next several years – um, probably 5.6% growth this year in equity appreciation. So obviously sooner the better. And then it'll probably level off to 3 to 4% over the next few years. But, even so, but right now, that's probably better than a lot of your stocks are doing, which right. are doing this up and down and up right. and down. Right, and it's right. more stable. Like I said, it's not like going to Vegas and gambling and doing something foolish. It's a steady, consistent 
uh, wise decision to own real estate. And like I said, I think a lot of people, you know, they'll rent because they're afraid to buy because they think the roof will uh, fail them. And the then they're going to have to be out all that money. But now right. let, the, let the landlord take care of right. it. Right. But what happens is when you really think about it, if you talk to a lot of homeowners, you know, those are random things that happen every 20 years or so usually. All right. Well, and and that's the importance of knowing what that home is before you buy it. And again, it depends on the realtor because you do check that home out completely, right? There's always an inspection. Yeah. So what we do is as an agent, we want to guide you through the process, the laborious process, which is your due diligence. So whenever you secure a home, if it meets your location standard and the pluses outweigh the minuses, then we know we're moving in the right direction. Then to be sure, since you didn't get on top of the roof, climb up in the attic Mm -hmm. or look in the electric box, that's why you have a professional inspector go through the home to make sure you get to know your home. You know what is if there's any particular surprises. And if there's a safety issue or something, of course, we're going to work on getting that resolved prior to closing because we want to make sure you got yourself a nice sound house. All right. The, the most important thing to know is call you. <laughs> right? Well, I, I mean, that's a start. I mean, I've been doing it 30 years. I've helped over 1,700 families. So I would say in this case, uh, you know, I have a great team. Uh, I'll always do what's in the best interest of my clients, no matter how good or bad it is or how, if you like it or not. It's just the way I do it. All right. Reputation is everything. Uh, I suppose the first thing might be to go to your uh, your website, which yeah, you, is DominicFonte.com. Right. And I have uh, some bars across the top here. Uh, you could read my reviews. Um, I have uh, quite a few reviews, like Amazon. You know how it is if you're before you use a product or do something. A lot of times, you know, word of mouth is most important. But you know, it, we're always suspicious when we talk to salespeople. Like, are they looking out for my best interest? So you can read through some of the reviews. There's like 100, 120 or something out there. And if what, you does read, everybody through, like you, Dominic. That's amazing. Well, my mom only wrote six. Oh. Of them. <laughs> but the reality is, it, they, everybody's names there, so you can see yeah. they're legitimate people. But like I said, it's very difficult and stressful to go through this process. Yes, it and, is. And so if you work with an agent, you just want someone that's tried true and, and they have a good reputation. And like I said, in my business, probably 60 to 70 percent of the business I do is because of word of mouth, because I do a good job for people. Do you have a operator standing by if we give out your phone number? Yes, go ahead. 330-418-1535, or you can email them at Dominic, which is with a C, there's no K at the end, Dominic at DominicFonte.com is uh, how you get a hold of Dominic and, and a member of his team. But also one more thing you, you did want to mention for the millennials, you have this booklet, which I think is fascinating. Let's wrap it up with that. Um, So we have this booklet. It's a 20-page booklet. It goes through the myths and the realities of the millennial and the down payment and the whole nine yards, and it's a wonderful book. If you go ahead and contact me at 330-418-1535, text or email me at dominic at dominicfonte.com. Um, I can get that out to you ASAP. All right, Dominic, thank you for joining us this morning. My it's pleasure. Been a pleasure. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. All right, we'll see you. Oh, next, Gary Rivers Show at 10 on News Talk 1480 WHBC, Mayor Burnaby. And we've got a city council member coming in to join us this morning. <laughs> I'm Pam Cook on the Thursday edition of Canton.